Yes people, hope everyone's good. Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're on the last episode of Ultimate Drill Guide. And throughout the video, I'm gonna to be touching on some key points to do with structure. So we're gonna be looking at intros, effects, drops, and cutouts. If you haven't already, make sure you come and join the family, hit that subscribe button, and turn on the notification bell as well. Filming this series has been real fun. I've actually had a real good time filming and editing this. So if you guys enjoyed the series and you wanna see something similar, make sure you leave a like and drop some feedback on the series. I'd really appreciate it. But anyway, enough talking. Come and join me on my screen and let's jump straight into the last episode. Damn severe, that's crazy. Welcome back to the last episode of the Ultimate Drill Guide. Like I said, today we're going to be talking about structure. But before we jump in, I'll just run over quickly what we left off last time in the last episode. Last episode was based on 808s and the kick. So what I'm going to do is just play you now quickly what we made throughout the end of the last video. So yeah, this is just the 808 and the kick. And now this is everything played together throughout the first, second and the third episode. <laughs> And more so for the beginners, if anyone was wondering why I was actually making everything in the same pattern, there's a reason to that. I'm going to show you right now. The reason I do this is because when you're in the heat of things and you're actually cooking up a beat and you're sort of adding in sounds one by one, me personally, in my opinion, it's quicker just to go over, drag drums in and make it all within the same pattern. And then you can go up here right click and you split by channel and then all the patterns you have are split on the side and you can drag them into the playlist and now that's done it gets me straight onto my first point which is structure with structure it's basically just building your track from the ground up and obviously i'm not just going to have my track as this playing throughout the whole track just the same drums over and over again no drops no cutouts it'll just get real repetitive very boring for the listener so i'm just going to come up with a quick structure now and i'll time lapse it and i'll run through what we've done straight after So yeah, we've added in a quick structure and this basically gets me onto my first point, which is intros. So intros is going to be obviously the opening of the track and it's going to be what the listener first hears. So you don't want everything hitting at once. You want to be gradually building the track up and dropping little bits here and there. So with the intro on this track, I've gone with the chords that we first laid down and a little bit of a drop. We've got some hi-hats, the snare, the perk hitting on the one and we've actually got the kick and the 808, but they don't actually come in straight from the off, which is a really good tip when it comes to drill. It sort of catches the listener off guard a bit, but it hits real hard. So this is what we have for the intro. And obviously throughout the track it gradually builds we start adding in more sounds and we sort of have a little breakdown cut out bit just before the last bar where most of the stuff comes back in again with all the drums hitting at the same time but that brings me nicely on to my next point which is effects so effects when done right can actually be used real nice when it comes to drill especially in the intros so i'm actually going to go in and see if we can add in a little bit of an effect now just to give you an example of what i'm talking about so we've actually gone to the chords the first melody that we laid and we've added in another eq which is basically just cutting out all the highs and all the lows and we boosted some of the mid highs and what i'm going to do here is something called automation so if you head over to this knob on the eq that you've used and you right click create automation clip and head back into the playlist you should get this and with this automation clip, I can basically turn it on for the intro and as soon as the drop hits, I can cut it out and the full sound will come in, just giving it a real nice effect when it comes to the drums coming in. So now that we've done that, this is what it sounds like.
So yeah, that's a real good tip on adding a little bit of variation to your intros and spicing up your beat a little bit more. And with that being said, it sort of takes me nice on to my next point, which I've not really spoke about in the intro or anything, but this is transitions. So whether it be risers, reverse crashes, crashes in general, whatever that be, these are all real good tools to add to your beat just to basically spice it up a little bit. So every bar is not just the same. It's not repetitive throughout the whole track. And adding in transitions basically lets the listener know when something's about to either build up or drop out or something like that and in my opinion it's actually real important to add these within your beats so i'm going to go ahead and show you a quick example of this so what we've done is we've grabbed a riser and we've placed that every other bar and we've also grabbed a crash and hit reverse reversed it and we've got that running side by side to the riser that's just a little bit of sound variation just so the listener's not hearing the same thing over and over again <laughs> And yeah, basically having that little bit of variation just spices it up a bit more for the listener and makes it a bit less boring. And now we've had a listen to that, it basically brings me on to my last point, which is dropouts. So throughout the track, you don't want to just be having up-tempo drums hitting the whole time. You know, the energy would just be riding up here the whole track and you wouldn't really get a feel of a breakdown or little cutouts where the artist can jump in, switch the flow up, all that type of stuff. So I'm just going to give you a quick example of this. Obviously, we've got the intro, we've got the light first drop and the second drop where the instruments switch up a little bit and we also add in a few more drums and the main drop, which is where pretty much everything's hitting. We've got all three melodies and the majority of the drums, if not all the drums. And then here, this is where we we have an instrument cut out whether it be the chords which it is in this case and we take the majority of the drums out as well this is just sort of a low level energy bit of the track just before we build up for the last drop and this is what it sounds like <laughs> and then straight back in. And then the bass. Hey, that is sounding hard. I'm liking the sound of that. So now all that's left to do, I'm just gonna add my tag in and that pretty much wraps up the series. So after that, we can have a quick listen. And then straight back in. Hey, that is sounding real nice. I'm liking the sound of this one. Okay, guys, that's it from me. Like I say, that pretty much wraps up the series. So I hope you guys enjoyed the videos and you're feeling the final beat as well. I had a real good time filming and editing this series. So if you guys want to see anything like this in the future, then make sure you leave some feedback. Let me know in the comments. But I'm going to go ahead, finish off mixing and mastering this beat now. I'm actually going to have something dropping for 100 subs. So obviously that's not far away. Make sure you run them subs up and come and join the family. But that's it from me on this one, guys. But I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Make sure you leave a like like, subscribe, and I'll catch you in the next one.